Andrew from Email Marketing NYC, and in today's video, I'll show you how to add dynamic and personalized content to em to Clavio emails per user. So first, let's go to Clavio, your Clavio platform, and for this example, I'll use dummy account, and let's say. By the way, uh, to pull dynamic information is based on which trigger you use. And for this video, I'll show placed order trigger because uh, why I'm specifying based on what trigger because each trigger will provide you different information. So for example, placed order will provide you one set of information and order completed will provide you different set of information and order shipped will provide another set of information. And I'll explain you, and I'll show you what I mean right now. So let's go to flows and let's do placed, uh, place, 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 placed order, custom win back, post purchase. Let's do placed order. So placed order, add it, add it content. And right now let's do preview and choose uh, a recent event to preview with. So as you can see, this is um, profile, my profile, because I place test order and the, any of this information you can use in email. So let's do coupon, coupon I use, testing. So you, sorry, so you, you copy this text, this code, cancel, and you put it to your text right here. So now when you click preview, it will show dynamically what code I use. Uh, okay, so this is not very practical. It, it, use something uh, like this. Thank you for ordering. And let's say, specify what did I order? So I order Razum, this black t-shirt. So select. So now you click preview, preview now, and now it dynamic. So if, some, if somebody uh, order, or, or uh, like one product, another product, it will be dynamically for them or what other information. So basically you can use your imagination. Let's say I live on Staten Island or I don't know, like this is my cell phone uh, mount. Let's say if they spend something, more or this is uh, your uh, URL to that specific product. So basically you can use any kind of information from here and provide them. Um, so I'll, I'll go right now to different account. I'll show you how you can use it for, for example, for uh, placed order and tr like tracking, tracking of the order. So this is a different account. And as I said before, you can, uh, information you can pull dynamically and personalize per customer is based on a trigger. So in this case, uh, the app is Aftership, which push information to Clavio when they receive delivery or uh, when the, uh, the product is shipped, a uh, product in transit. So basically uh, they will receive this email As you can see, it says your order has been delivered, order number, tracking number. When we click preview, as you can see, there's not much information like in the previous example. As you can see, this is all about order. In this example, it's all about shipment. Why? Because we use different trigger, but um, we can dynamically pull like tracking number, tracking code, tracking shipping date so all that information you can pull from here those codes and places to your email and when you click preview and as you can see you uh, you have dynamic order number and dynamic tracking number and also i inserted the link so when they click they can uh, they redirect it to specific link where they can track their order and how to add links you click a link and okay uh, this is how i did it 
So the tool is tracking tables equal. So basically, uh, I checked. So I copied this code, this code, because uh, this is a, a standard code for USPS. And then what I did, I go to preview and I went to tracking number and I insert and I added, uh, since this is the variable, I, in addition to this link, I added this code. And then what I did, let's say we want to put it here, I click here on the link and then use other, not HTTP or something, use other and I think I use other. Let's. Oh no, sorry. I, I use HTTP and inserted that that whole that whole link. Please let me know if you have any additional questions. I know it's a little bit uh, first time. It's a little bit hard to grasp, but when you do it once or twice, it will will be very easy for you to do and replicate and. Honestly, here's uh, your imagination is your limit because you can create crazy <laughs> personalized emails. Please let me know if you have any additional questions. And I guess I said that the thing I wanted to say, <laughs> please subscribe to YouTube channels because we are releasing this kind of video daily. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please click like button below. Please comment below and let me know what other videos you would like to see on this YouTube channel. Also, if you are not subscribed yet, click subscribe button below and click on the bell button to receive notifications when we release new video. We release new tutorial every day and educational video every Thursday.